see another pumpkin in here. Yeah, look at that one. There he is. See him right there? Mm-hmm. That's the bass. I see a, I see a tailfin. You see his tailfin? What did we name him? Ernest. Ernest T. Bass. No, <laughs> not that name. That name is terrible. What name? do you want to name him? Um, Transform Toys Robots in Disguise. Oh. Wow. I'm feeling Ernest T. Y'all, we have guinea eggs. Check it out. This is the second one. We got one, was it the day before yesterday? I think so. Yeah, it was the day before yesterday. So here's a guinea egg and here's a chicken egg. That's how little they are. I don't know if y'all can see it really good. Guinea egg, chicken egg. It's so little. I'm not sure if both have started laying yet because like I said, this is just the second one. It could be one laid the day before yesterday and one laid today, I don't know. Or it might just be one of them. One thing's for sure, you can't get an egg sandwich out of that one, I don't think. You'd have to have about three. Oh no! We still have a lot of stuff to do out here and it's thundering on us. We got some peppers. Oh, we should get in the garden right now. Because it's thundering on us. Yep, starting to rain on us, isn't it? Yeah, we need the guineas to get over here and eat some bugs. Guineas! Bugs! <laughs> oh, goodness. Hurry, Minnie, we're gonna get wet. Ah! 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 Since the rain brought us in, we'll switch from the outside to-do list to the inside. I went ahead and washed up these eggs because I only had one left in the refrigerator and I just like to have some washed up ready to go whenever you know I'm cooking so I don't have to wash them. Here are the two guinea eggs. Maybe we can see a little better inside the comparison. Oh yes, chicken egg, guinea egg, turkey egg. So now we're just waiting on those Easter eggers to start laying. It'll be about four more weeks, I think. And then we should start getting some greens and blues. Turkey eggs, in case you missed the videos where we talk about the turkey eggs, they taste the same as chicken eggs. Uh, they're harder to crack. The shell is really, really tough. I can kind of tell the difference now between the turkey and chicken egg because I've cooked with them so much. Turkey eggs, if you bake with them, like cornbread, cakes, anything like that, it, it's fine. And you can use one turkey egg in the place of two, like if you need two regular chicken eggs for something, you can use one turkey egg. I've done that before a few times and it works fine, but anyway, as far as scrambled eggs, turkey eggs don't scramble, I'm starting to notice, as good as chicken eggs. I mean, they still taste good, but you know, you can get that really good fluffy scrambled egg with chicken eggs. It's hard to get that with a turkey egg. We'll see how the guinea eggs do, which like I said, we'll have to like get about three or four more of them before we can, you know, try to do anything with it. They're so little. And I don't think that we have a duck laying any eggs, but this egg is really, really light. And like this is a light ice brown chicken egg. They, they normally lay dark brown like this, but every now and then you get a lighter one and it's about that color brown. The camera's not picking it up too good. 
it's a tan, a really light tan, but this one, you can kind of tell, this one looks really white. So I don't know, it could possibly be a duck egg, I'm not sure. But it's like the same size as a chicken egg, so I'm thinking chicken, it's just a light one. Look, the little guinea eggs, you can put two in here. <laughs> I don't wanna crack them. Ah, okay, there we go. Next on the list, I'm bringing you a zucchini idea you've probably never heard of before. Zucchini quick jam. I know what you're thinking. I'm kind of thinking the same thing, but we're gonna give this a try. <laughs> so we need two cups of shredded zucchini. I'm pretty sure I can get two cups out of these two. We're gonna need some sugar and jello. Any flavor you wanna use. We have strawberry or lime. I've never had lime jam, so we're gonna go with strawberry and a quarter cup of lemon juice. Okay, now this, let me see what kind of jar I'll have that I'm gonna put this in. This is gonna make 12 ounces of zucchini jam. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this jar right here. This is not a shelf stable jam. It's one you have to keep it in the refrigerator or the freezer because we're not, you know, we're not pressure canning it or anything like that. If y'all wanna see, Cece's put me on some autumn jazz over there, y'all. If y'all wanna see the apple jelly that we made in the Instant Pot, which is almost time to make some more apple jelly, this is my last jar right here. It's so good, y'all. We opened up a jar, I guess two weeks ago, and it was still fine, and we made this apple jelly. We canned it in September of last year, so it's almost been a full year, and it's great. We did it in the Instant Pot. But for this one, it's just gonna be one, you know, that you keep in the refrigerator, or you can freeze it. If you store it in the refrigerator, it'll keep for a month. If you put it in the freezer, it'll keep for up to a year. And whenever you get ready to use it, you just take it out of the uh, freezer and put it in the refrigerator to thaw. The first thing we need to do is shred the zucchini. And I'm actually, I'm gonna do this in my little food chopper because I want it to be um, little bitty pieces of zucchini. I already have this zucchini washed. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start with just this big one because it might be enough to give us two cups We'll see. I don't know, that's pretty close. I, I think we'll just need this big one. Okay, that's about two cups. Okay, we're putting in the one cup of sugar. Now we're gonna put, actually, I, I just need about an eighth of a cup of lemon juice because I'm cutting this recipe in half. The original recipe was a quarter cup. We'll just eyeball it. And we only need half of this box of Jello. Now we're gonna turn this on to medium. Get it all mixed together. Once this starts to simmer a little bit, we're gonna turn it down to low, like a little above low, in between medium and low. And we're gonna let it cook for about eight minutes. Okay y'all, it's been eight minutes, so we removed it from the heat. Now we're gonna put in half of this box of Jello, cause like I said, we're just doing half of the recipe. How we feeling? How we feeling about this? I'm still, I'm still not sure. I'm gonna be honest, but the review said it was really good. So we're gonna see. Now we just uh, mix the Jello in really, really good. And then we're gonna let it sit right here and cool down for about 30 minutes. Then we'll transfer it to our jar and then we'll let it cool down the rest of the way in the jar without a lid on it before we put the lid on and then we're gonna put it in the refrigerator. Cause we're gonna try this with some biscuits for breakfast in the morning. I'm gonna make sausage biscuits and we'll give this a try. We'll see how this zucchini quick jam turns out. You definitely have to like, um, like jam or jelly with the seeds, which I do. I love blackberry preserves or blackberry jam with the seeds. That's my favorite. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna switch out my tablecloth and then Jake should be back in just a few minutes with my grocery pickup order. He went to get it for me. We'll get all of that put away and then it'll be about time to make supper. You don't smell berries? No. Well, you 
smell? Chicken nuggets and cheese. <laughs> Chicken nuggets and cheese, huh? I want cheese. <laughs> Alright, it's been about 30 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and transfer it to this jar. It's just barely starting to thicken up a little bit, so we're going to let it finish cooling the rest of the way just in the jar over here without a lid on it. And we'll just keep a check on it. See how it's looking. That's how it's looking. <laughs> It's a nice pretty day. Well, he's looking at the glass half full. It's pretty sloppy out here, but it is. It's a pretty day. I have to put on the full armor right here. Where did I put it? I got some straw to put under the pumpkins. Okay, I got it. I'm gonna put some down here under these pumpkins. This is the biggest one we've got right now. This Whoa, one, can y'all see it? A, a big yeah, that's a big pumpkin under here, you see it? I'm gonna put some straw under it. You'll be able to see it better. I gotta do it very gently. Can we pull him out? No, he's not ready yet. It's gonna get a lot bigger. Yeah, I made a swarm of these. Yeah. So I have to get them down, down, so they won't real stop biting. Here we go, little pumpkin. We're gonna give you a nice little bed of straw there to grow on. I'm looking for some more pumpkins in here. Hey, Martha. George, how's it going? George, you can't see. No wonder you're not doing your job. You don't know when to be on duty. Now, are you mad at George because you're turned away from him? You've turned your back on <laughs> George. The pumpkin vine has grabbed a hold of Martha. Put your hand down there, Manly, so we can, we'll use your hand as a measurement each time we come out here to measure this pumpkin. There we go. We'll see how big it gets in a few days. Okay, y'all, here is the zucchini quick jam this morning. Um, last night, I forgot to show y'all, it took like probably an hour or an hour, close to an hour and a half for it to fully set up at room temperature. And it got thick just like this, just like it is now. It's been sitting out of the refrigerator now for a while. If I didn't know myself because I made it that that was zucchini in there, you would never know. I mean, you could kind of tell because we left the peeling on so you can see the green specks. So somebody might be like, what's all that green stuff in there? Tastes but like strawberry preserve. It does. Yeah. It tastes just like, like if you didn't know it was zucchini and you just ate it, you would think it was just little pieces of strawberry, right? Yeah, it right. tastes just like strawberry preserves. If you take the peeling off, you wouldn't know. People would just think it was little strawberry pieces. It tastes just like strawberry preserves. It's great. Mm -hmm. 